Now, today's top stories and Power of 5 weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Hi everybody, let's take a look at today's top stories. Police are searching for two suspects they say were involved in the murder of a 27-year-old man in Canton yesterday. Devin Meredith was shot and killed inside a home on 6th Street Southwest. Body was found by a woman who came to the house around 1 p.m. Monday. Police have issued warrants for two men, charging 29-year-old Robert Torrance with murder and 48-year-old Thomas Humphrey with complicity to the same. Broadview Heights police are investigating a suspected homicide. Officers found 38-year-old Jolene decker Kiris dead in her Royalwood Road home yesterday afternoon. Don't have any details about the death. No one's been arrested. Anyone with information is asked to call Broadview Heights police. The Ashtabula County Convention and Visitors Bureau says its board stands united against a, an effort for the United, uh, excuse me, Ohio Department of Natural Resources to take over Geneva Lodge, the takeover part of a piece of temporary legislation, but the Bureau calls it a job killer. It also pointed out the current contract gives the state the same property for free in 2040. Taking it over now would cost more than $13 million. All right, let's talk about this weather because we have to. We have to. Well, it's going to be a chilly overnight, Robin. By 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, you got some middle 40s out there. 45 Youngstown, 46 in Canton. 47, Akron, Ravenna, 48, Medina, 50 in Cleveland. That's chilly. Grab the sweater early, but a nice quick warm up and 75 to 77 for the high on Wednesday. Comfortable weather, humidity is staying low. Awesome. Now we're back into the middle 80s beginning Thursday and the lower 80s Saturday and Sunday because we've got scattered storms coming in. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.